This next song is challenging. It's probably the most challenging song that we've done so far today. I'm so tired. What's up everybody? We are on our way to Toronto for two private events during the week and then we have our tour in Salt Lake and Seattle this weekend. So it's gonna be a huge week. Cameron's coming with us. We're going to Canada, I guess all week. Right now, Jimmy Coco just got here. He's gonna spray tan us. And then we are getting on a plane for a red eye to Toronto. Little update on my Funko Pop collection. On tour, a fan got me a little Mew, which I'm so excited about. Jack and Penelope got me this Britney Funko Pop, which I have to hang up and I'm so excited about it. It's so epic. I am obsessed with the uh, brown sugar apple crisp shaken espresso at Starbucks. This company has an apple crisp syrup that's sold out, but I did find a brown sugar cinnamon, so hopefully that will suffice until I can get my hands on an apple syrup. I have put off getting a haircut for so long, and I get a haircut today. How does a haircut make someone exponentially more attractive? All right, here in the loft with Jimmy again. The next time you see us, we're gonna be glowing. I love red eyes. I love red eyes. I'm gonna go to bed. We got here and the room's not ready. So we're all just sitting in the lobby eating breakfast. It's technically 9 a.m. It's like 4 in LA. They didn't sleep. I don't know what I expected when I went to Toronto, Canada, but this is not the vision that I had. I am trying my damnedest to vlog and I just have no life in me. Allison's already done two wellness checks with me to make sure my vibe's okay. My vibe is not okay, but I'm learning to be okay with not being ecstatic all the time. We're going to dinner on the waterfront. Oh, we're like an hour outside of Toronto and I don't know where we are, but I know we're going to a Waterloo college. We're going to Brantford tomorrow. Brantford. We've been turned away from two restaurants just like Jesus and Mary were. Everywhere in this <laughs> tiny little town is booked up. So we're gonna go to the Paris dispensary. Now that we are done with dinner, there's a very cute ice cream shop that we just passed that I have to have something from. I don't know if you should get unicorn Here, you should get unicorn toots. Because I'm gay. Oh, I have so much gas. I have, I am in the That's adorable. Welcome to Canada, eh? So this is the YMCA that we're doing. They brought a whole stage in for us. Sound check time. And I'm having a mental crisis. <laughs> I'm in the middle of having a panic attack and Allison goes, <laughs> I'm sorry you're feeling that way. Do you mind if I record this? I need something deeper for my vlog. Yeah. I had a conversation with you before I even asked that. I don't remember that conversation. Wait, what? Hey, what's going on? What? Are what? you leaving? Why are you up there? This one just stormed the f***ing capital to get coffee from our room. Run that back and say something nice. Cause you know I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you look hot. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I think for both of us. Oh, we need Do we look better tan? Yeah, we look <laughs> Jimmy has this like clear spray that actually you guys can't get right now. Is that too much? I don't know. <laughs> I've never done it before and I don't, I'm not using that your mitt on my face. Now say something nice. <laughs> no. Or run that back and say something nice. <laughs> just like... Not close, not close. <laughs> So dinner's over and we're going to actually hang out, which is something we usually don't do on tour because we're just tired and go to bed. I've had three Aperol spritz. So we're gonna go to the lobby and hang out and see what's in the store. What a party. <laughs> I said like that. Photo dump. Oh. Right there. We are out <laughs> here drinking yeah. wine out of coffee cups, and it feels a lot like if you go back, and there's a vlog of us in the tri-state area. We were out in the fire pit dancing with fans. Allison, how's your tan coming? I feel like I it looks good. Do I look crazy? Yeah. I do. <laughs> do I look crazy? You look white and pale. Not all natural. We're watching old vlogs. 
to for like that many years. When was that? That's the. F <laughs> like, homegirl was 23. How do I, I can't make the face anymore. I have too much bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. I was your so brows are so bold. Because that was like the waxy era. I'm not even wearing any makeup but like brows. <laughs> Cutie. We just got to our hotel in Waterloo and it's really nice. I'll say, Canada, don't shade me. This area is not, I don't think, most visually appealing. Yeah, I get it. I grew up in the Midwest. I grew up in Indiana. It reminds me of that. <laughs> Asking my friend Lauren, who's from Toronto, you know her as Lauren DIY? Because I didn't know what to expect from Canada, and it feels like I'm in the Midwest. She's like, basically, it is the Midwest. You got, on the west side, you've got your Vancouver, which is beautiful, like California. You got Toronto on the other side, which is like your New York. Everything else in the middle is like Midwestern vibes. And so like that makes more sense to me. Also, the people are lovely. I think Canada wins as the friendliest place in the world. The people here are wonderful. Oh. We have the biggest dressing room ever. All right, let's see who's here. I feel like we got some people. So we're about to go on. I feel like a sh I feel sick, but my therapist told me that when you don't feel like you can do something extraordinary, you just put on your superhero hat and you have magical powers. So I'm gonna put on my fitness martial hat and do that. <laughs> Are you listening to our conversations? Yeah, we're just waiting to see if you talk. <laughs> no, we don't think about you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Canada. We are on our way to Salt Lake City. Cameron's going home, and I'm uh, continuing on tour. We're in Salt Lake now. We just landed, and in the hotel room, Cameron's gone. I'm alone. Actually, I kind of enjoy being on my own. And my therapist would say that's good because he says I'm codependent. It makes me a little bit more responsible. It makes my ADHD kick in and it makes me like take action because I know like the stakes are high. I am going to end the night by eating some sushi that I ordered. I needed some extra protein. And then I'm watching Suits. It's like a straight boy show, but I'm actually enjoying it. Gonna do that for the rest of the night. There's these guys at the gym. They like wear necklaces on where they work out, and obviously that's not practical. But something about it's so hot to me. Do you think? Oh, that's hot. Or do you think? Oh, he's he's a douche. I think I know the answer, but I still want to ask it. I have been wearing a patch on my shoulder. My spray tan's coming off because I used to have shoulder tears. I was in physical therapy. I healed my shoulders, and then on tour, I think I retore my shoulder. I'm okay during shows. After, it hurts really bad, so I'm nervous. But I have. This week in, we have two weeks of tour left. Laser hair removal update. <laughs> I get really bad razor burn on my neck and so I had had laser on my neck. But I just like was not thinking and frazzled in the moment when they asked me like where to do it. And so they asked me if I wanted it under here and I was like, yeah, sure, like whatever. That was the wrong answer. And so now it's coming in like super patchy just after one session like you can see. <laughs> I just like really wanted my neck done like this area so I don't get razor burn. If you have any tips on what to tell them next time. I'm gonna get a workout in, even though I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to a local coffee shop today that Allison recommended. Catch some Pokemon. So I'm trying a new cold brew today. We are doing two pumps of pumpkin, cinnamon powder, <laughs> and then one stevia. It's giving like 2017 vlog. It really, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. We've also decided that we don't want to leave the hotel anymore. We had our food and coffee <laughs> arrive at the exact same time by two different people. Today's a really bad day. Today's a really bad day for me. So I went to Benihana and I was already feeling like anxious today and just off and I feel like the best way I can describe how I'm, I've been feeling today is just like empty. And it sucks because I'm such a people pleaser. I never want to be responsible for there being bad vibes or people not having a good time. <sighs> Today's just one of those days where I don't have a personality. I don't know how to talk to people. And I really tried to push myself today at Benihana. We're sitting there. We're at a table with 
people like celebrating an anniversary and being loud and they're excited and then the people behind us are getting like happy birthday saying to them by the staff. Everyone's just like, it's a lot. And I started to just freak out. And we were just sitting there and I was, I have to get out of here right now. And like Haley and Allison are just sitting there and I was, I have to go. I literally got up, I left dinner and just walked outside and called Cameron. I have made so much progress on my mental health and then I have something like this happen and I have to leave a restaurant because I just can't do it for another second. And I'm happy I did. I made the right choice, but it just sucks that it got to that point. I'm gonna be okay for the show tomorrow. I'm gonna have a good time. I haven't made up a dance in a long time, and whenever I don't make up a dance in a long time, I feel like that's so directly tied to my self-worth, and I just feel like a piece of sh** <laughs> and feel worthless, and I know that's not true, and I know my intrinsic value as a human being is not tied to what I create. It's really hard sometimes, and I don't know if that's a part of it, but I feel like this whole week I just have not felt like the fitness marshal, and that is my job, to be that for people. And again, whenever I'm at the shows, I'm not faking it. I'm genuinely having a wonderful time. And it gives me so much joy, but I don't know, man. This week is just hard. Because I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna make it. This will pass, it's a temporary feeling, and I'm going to be better tomorrow. If you followed the vlogs, you definitely remember this space. This is the Complex in Salt Lake City. It's one of our favorite venues, because it's so epic. Everybody else You do look very chipper today. Do what? You sound and feel very chipper today. Mental health update. I feel better than I did last night. All right, let's go meet some of the VIPs. You guys excited? is this next song is challenging. It's probably the most challenging song that we've done so far today. We have two more sets left. I'm so tired. I forgot that we were at a higher elevation. Yeah. Time for meet and greet, and then we are going to Seattle. Woo! I'm at the airport, but I have to tell you this. I have found the perfect macro-friendly pumpkin cold brew drink at Starbucks. I made it myself, grounded cold brew. Two pumps of pumpkin sauce, a splash of almond milk, and one stevia. Bitch, this is 60 calories. This is fantastic. And let me know what you think. TLDR, we are on standby for an early flight. Otherwise, we have to fly out like super late. And we have a 7.30 a.m. call time. So fingers crossed that they get on this flight. Welcome to Seattle. I am looking for some volunteers to be checked with those larger roller bags. Can you check myself. Yeah. <laughs> we got on the plane! Four hours early. I'm so excited. This is my wife for the evening. <laughs> Haley is sharing her with her boyfriend, so I got stuck with Agnes. Oh, you got stuck? Yeah, because you couldn't. I got stuck. She could not click the elevator button to call an elevator. She could not click the button to call the floor. You need a, a man to help you? Wow. <laughs> Did you just tussle your hair when you said that? <laughs> I got it, babe. I got it. Oh! That 
that's pretty hot, right? Yeah. Caleb. Okay, now go. Handyman. So I just showered and <laughs> I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Allison's about to shower. I'm about to eat sushi. <laughs> We met a couple at the Salt Lake show today, and it was a couple who had is divorced, has a child together, and the husband who divorced the wife now has a husband. And they're still friends, and they dance together, and that's beautiful. And I just thought, like, wow, like, what if Haley and I, like, had a baby together? Like, do I regret not starting a family with her? Kind of. <laughs> so this is what I order. Um, Did you get a piece of pie? When I'm on vacation or when I'm on tour, usually like a protein, like a sushi bowl, and then I get like a few little fun appetizers. And Cameron loves to FaceTime me right when I'm trying to eat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. So we're at the crocodile. We're about to do our show. I don't know if it gave you a mental health update, but I don't feel like dying anymore. I had a great sleep. I was so good of a sleep well, that I didn't wake up. CBD drink, it was good. Yeah, I had a 30 milligram CBD yeah. drink. I woke up and we had to be downstairs by 7.50 and I should have been up by like 7.15 and I forgot to set an alarm. But luckily I was in the room with Allison, so like I was safe. You didn't tell me you were setting an alarm And I wake up at 7.40, I take off my mask and this bitch is fully dressed, has her suitcase, and she goes, okay, see you downstairs. I would've just slammed the door shut and left dressed. No, I didn't say see you downstairs No, she didn't. Until... I, sh I said the first like, thing- oh, my alarm didn't go off. I said, did I sleep like, oh. through- No, I said, did I sleep through my alarm? And she goes, I didn't hear an alarm. <laughs> I didn't. <sighs> like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me? To be your mom? I want you to be if my If I had woken you up, if you had said, I'm setting my alarm for 7.15, if I'm not up, wake me up, that would have been maybe something I would have done. So you thought like 7.45, like, oh no, like he's gonna make it. Caleb, for yeah, you are always like, oh, I can sleep until this time. So like, you're the fitness marshal, do whatever you want. <laughs> Don't you dare throw my name in my face. <laughs> are you gonna let them do that, Cena? Uh, I'm just looking at my fantasy team. Oh my Okay, God. straight people. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Make some noise! Open your front door. show is over, I am sufficiently sore and tired. <laughs> but honestly, I had more energy and stamina at this show than yesterday. I don't know why or how. Um, but I feel like my body's breaking. I feel like the Tin Man. My neck hurts. I think I fucked my shoulder. My knee keeps giving out. And I need to rest. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go home and Cameron's gonna have sugarfish waiting for me, which is what I have before I leave for any trip. And what I have on the day of my return. And that's my treat to myself. This was so much fun. The, the people here were fantastic. We met so many wonderful booties. Seattle really filled me up. Like this was a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I'm actually kind of sad that tour is gonna be over after next weekend. But I get to see my family again, and that's exciting. So I will see you back here next week. I gotta rest.